Good day everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm looking like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I woke up and my nose is literally, I think I got like a puppy cut. Like someone bit my nose and it's just like healing. Oh, anyways, I have a puppy right here. I have Miss Winter. She's still in first place today. Yeah, she was very sweet yesterday. And also Montana, ow, 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 scratches. Monty's here, Monty come here. This is your baby, you remember your daughter? You remember her? Oh, Moon. <laughs> Always has to be the center of attention. This is your daughter, Monty. You remember this baby? Did you forget her? Monty, look, it's your baby. You know her? Do you care? What if I put her down there? What would you do? Monty, that's your baby. See your baby. Wolfie, Wolfie, do you want to see her? <laughs> no, do I have to? He's like scared of puppies. It's like literally the smallest little nugget. The sweetest girl. Oh my God, look at her. It looks like she's smiling. Are you happy? Also, Monty's sweater is so stinking cute. You look so sweet, Monty. No, you can't come out here. You can't come out yet. Anyways, on the agenda today, I have to do some Christmas shopping since it didn't work out with Miss Laura Lee. So I'm just gonna go run to the Century City Mall, which is the most gorgeous mall in LA. So I'm gonna go there. Sorry, I gotta say goodbye to you, Miss Winters. So the bows that I ordered came in and this is what they look like. I'm very confused. I don't know how I'm supposed to turn these into bows. It's a ribbon. It's not even a bow. How do I you? How do I do this? It didn't even come with instructions. It literally just came in this. I don't get it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around with colors that aren't the puppies. So we shall see. I figured it out. It is a pull string bow. Wait till you see how this works. It's so cool. Okay, so it starts like this, and then there's like a ribbon on the inside that you pull, and then it turns into this bow. So I'm trying to figure out, like, should it go around their collar like this? Probably. Or I could put it, like, on their head. But I think this will make the most sense. So I'm going to turn these all into bows, and then we'll go take some cute pics. Okay, I have Miss Yaro here with me. Daniel just gave her a bath, and now he's washing Aspen right now. And then I am going to do a little photo shoot with the peppers. Is this your daughter? A lot of you guys in the comments were saying that, oh, you should keep Yarrow, not Winter, because Moon didn't growl at Yarrow. But that was just what you guys saw. Moon acts the same regardless of which puppy it is. He will growl. It was just that moment that you saw that she didn't. But you did point out the fact that Yarrow is definitely way more independent and like more playful and goofy than Winter is. Winter is definitely more cuddly and shy in comparison. Hi. Daniel, you're getting annoyed at my antics of not deciding. I'm getting annoyed at you vlogging while I'm filming a video. Oh. Yes, I am. Pick a dog. Oh. Look at these warm. And when you give them baths, you need to scrub their assholes and their vaginas. I do. No, I watched your video. You were like, mm -hmm. Pretty. Soap them all over. I do. No, you didn't. Yeah. No, you didn't. You need to rub their asshole, <laughs> their dirty holes. Oh. Came through dripping. Skinny. You guys, she literally lets me hold her like a little princess baby. Like, she's just so chill. Okay, she's currently in first place right now. She's moved up on the leaderboard. What are you doing? Why are you just chilling like that? <laughs> they literally all let you like No, they like resist a little bit. She's just like so babyish. Fem. Okay, you're about to look very loud. Puppy cries. I want to explain what I'm about to do as quiet as I can without them seeing me or hearing me. Okay, so I have all their bows right there, all made. And I'm going to use that red basket for their individual photos. And then this one, I want to put them all in to do like a group shot. So we're going to start with the mini basket one at a time. This is going to be hectic in hell, but we're going to try. Get ready for the storm of barks. 
takes them just like a few seconds to realize. Rev up their engines. Now they're processing. Oh, piddles. Okay, let's start with pink. So I'm gonna put each of their little things on and wish me luck. Okay, starting off with Yaro. She has her little bow. Daniel is the distraction. He's going Daniel into the tank. The don't take my gibbet off. Giblets. Giblets. Okay, so she's instantly gonna jump out of this basket, so it's gonna be kind of tough. Oh, you look so sweet. I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to use the basket. This is difficult. Are you kidding me? This little Christmas bell? A gift from me to you. Oh, you smell so clean too. I can't with this bow. It is so precious. Okay, you guys, that was pure madness and hell, but I got it all done with. Cute videos, cute pictures. I have Aspen because she's very needy. She was the loudest one the whole time because she wanted to be the star the whole time, didn't she? I have a theory that Aspen is actually a human trapped inside a dog's body and she's like, I don't belong in there. I'm not a dog, I'm a woman. Set me free. She was cursed. Oh, well, I have been busy wrapping gifts all night. I didn't tell you guys this yet, but Megan is spending Christmas with me. She's sleeping over tomorrow night, Christmas Eve, and we're having a little gift exchange where we're gonna be trading Lego sets and just having like a chill, nerdy Christmas day. So I'm very excited about that. So I got her a Lego set and a bunch of stocking stuffers. I got Daniel something, which I think I'm gonna give him tomorrow on New Year's. But yeah, I guess that's it for today. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas Eve, Christmas day, everything, all the happy holidays to you and your family. Spend it with your pets, with your loved ones, or spend it alone like I have the past two years and uh, just do everything that makes you happy that day. If that includes just eating something that makes you feel good or watching a show or playing a video game, going on a walk, doing something that's different from your everyday, um, make it a special day for just you and don't deal with the family drama. But anyways, that's it for today. I love you all so much. Until next time, I'll see you next time.